Greetings, Lightners, and welcome back to Real Estate Plays Undertale. Last episode, we bone trousled with Papyrus. In this episode, let's talk to his brother. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I want a grill beast. Want to come? Eh, sure, I guess. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Like, that was so hard. Over here! I know a shortcut. What? Oh! It really does. Best shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans, were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. What a dork. Here, get comfy. Whoops! Watch where you sit down! Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats! Anyway, let's order! What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good! Quilby, we'll have a double order of fries! You know, his name makes a lot of sense since he's a fire. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool! He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if I absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Well, I mean, technically that's washing it. Here comes the grub! Want some ketchup? Eh, uh, sure. Bone appetit? Ugh, god dang it. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops! Eh, uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. As he scratches his pelvis bone. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was the mid it was midnight. Freaking but determined little monster. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. At least he's trying. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, a spotlight. Dramatics. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Are you referring to the yellow one? If so, yes. So you know all about it. Wait, does he know? The echo flower. Oh. We had a miscommunication there. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long- Uh, you wanted this, good sir! Don't use me as your excuse. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Oh, this mother- It's just 10,000 G? Uh, what happens if I say yes? <laughs> just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. This guy's a dork. Uh, sorry about that, Grillby. Grillby said that your food is probably cold by now. It probably is. Uh, time to go. Alright, so with that out of the way, I think it's time to get to the one thing people really like about this game, uh, apparently dating Papyrus. So let's go on a date with Monsieur Skeleton over here. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Okay, where is he taking us? Okay, we're going quite a ways away. Uh, we're going back now, apparently. What? Huh? My house! Uh, well, okay, we're gonna have a date at his house. Uh, okay, this is his house. This is my brother's pet rock, who always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> I mean, it works, I guess. Uh, these skeletons are dorks. Alright, it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay, don't put it back down, move it! Okay, you moved it two inches, move it to your room! Okay, and don't bring it back! Okay, 
It's still here! Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh, jeez. Okay, you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. Find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Oh! Cool, 20 bucks. Okay, uh, this is the kitchen, I guess. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it anytime. Uh, I didn't realize trash cans could be used as visiting spots. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Absurd. Okay. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of why would you put an empty bag of chips in there? Also, why is that sink so ridiculously high up? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. A uh, dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Admittedly, that was kind of perfectly timed. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! Okay. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah, that just seems like it'd go on forever. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bone. The door is locked, and surprisingly, it's glowing. Alright, I guess this is Papyrus' room. That's my room! If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. I guess we're doing this. Hey! Those are all attacks I used on you! Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically just happened. At least he understands the logic of the situation. The internet! I'm quite popular there. Oh, you have no idea, buddy. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count! Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Perhaps... Sans? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. There are so many jokes I can make about that. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. All right. Books. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. Oh, that's just precious. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons! <laughs> I mean, that is an interesting theory, but unfortunately it is wrong, but I'm not going to break his heart. Ah, yes! Action figures! A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right! Santa! This boy is so precious and innocent. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. <coughs> no comment, Judge. Sun on my skin. Also no comment, Judge. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. I want to give this boy all the hugs in the world. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? I guess we're doing this! Okay, dating start! Oh, it's a battle? I guess? Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I mean, yeah. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's X button for a dating HUD. It literally has... Wow, we! I feel so informed! What's the egg for? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human! I, the great papyrus, 
We'll go on a date with you. Yes. But really? Wow, we. Oh my god, the blushing face is so cute. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait, the music stop. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? I can't not say yes! No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Oh wait, there's actually a meter for this? <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear a special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh my freaking god, this do this, this, this dork! What do you think of my secret style? I, I love it. No! A genuine compliment! What to hug him? However, oh, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I, I am going to inspect his shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Okay, glove. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Shoulder pads? I see, I see. You like my cur my biceps with the flowing heart, but who doesn't? Chest. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. But the pants? I'm kind of curious. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Okay, what about my hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. All right, let's open it. Do you know what this is? Uh, looks like a plate of spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it is time to end this. There is no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No! Oh my god, that meter's going right towards his head. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Oh, the internet is. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, it, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way that you like me. Oh, rejection. That's painful. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Papyrus, if only you knew. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! I can't feel at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. I mean, technically you don't. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Oh, well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Papyrus, you are a dork. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. 
you can call me at any time. Platonically. Oh, gotta go. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I... <laughs> okay. Well, that that was Papyrus's date, I suppose. I'm gonna save, so tune in next time as we uh, head to the next part of this place. So, uh, till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am going further into this underground. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Cinemageddon Reviews, Aaron Lena, Grimmy Leon, Hitsuyona Kurarento, Honor Higgins, I Should Be 88, Jesse Barbo 6, Jesse Alvarez, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nagi Oki, Sonic Destroyer 12, Sonic Star 21, Wyme 2021, Panda 475, Timid Recluse, Boss Maker, Devil 1414, Katie Honey Jade, Kylie Childs, Pekila Donnelly, Princess Funnybone, Ruby the Wolf, and Silver Fox MC. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and a chance to use the Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this has been Rolse, and I'll bring darkness to your land again next time. Toodaloo!